Hello, and welcome to the Wayne State University Commencement Ceremony. My name is David Strauss, and as the Dean of Students, it is my privilege and honor to recognize and celebrate our graduating class of 2021. This year has presented all of us with unprecedented challenges, but our students have shown their warrior strength through their perseverance and dedication. This is no small feat, and your achievements are made all the greater by the difficulties and uncertainties you have endured. I believe there's no limit to what you can accomplish, and today marks the first of many steps you will take towards securing a brighter future for everyone. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to congratulate each of our students on this momentous occasion, the confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's class of 2021. I would now like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lori Lozon Clabo. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of the circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Wayne State is one of the nation's 50 largest public universities with Michigan's most diverse student body. Today, more than 27,000 students from nearly every U.S. state and many countries around the world are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university, strengthened by the culture, industry, and diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations pursue both knowledge and personal growth. I know all of you gathered here today have been able to experience all that this great university has to offer. You've grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you have chosen. You've made us all very proud of you. I know that each of you went through a lot to get to this point, but this moment's not only for you, but also for your families and friends who made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. There's no such thing as a self-made woman or man. We are all shaped by the influence and examples of everyone around us Family, friends, and faculty have all helped you to get to this day. They are all teachers and mentors in their own ways. If a supportive member of your life is with you now, please give them a hug, an air hug, or whatever's appropriate to let them know how much you appreciate them. And if they're not with you right now, sometime today, give them a call. Let them know how much their support has meant to you. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 colleges and schools, and others who've taught you in virtual classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the Board, Governor Kelly. Greetings to each of you on this very special day. On behalf of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the Class of 2021 and give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. The past 12 months have been a challenge for all of us. Even today, as you graduate, the world churns under our feet with seismic change, but that tumult must not be permitted to drown out what's happening here. It must not distract Wayne State University from recognizing your significant accomplishments and giving you the recognition you've earned. A commencement ceremony is the culmination of big dreams and high hopes. You've worked oh so diligently to reach this moment and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. 
You're graduating with a degree from an outstanding institution. Today, you join more than 280,000 alumni who call Wayne State University their alma mater. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your success in the years to come. We know that the warrior spirit runs strong in you, and that spirit and the education you got here will guide you like a trusted compass in the future. Congratulations from the Board of Governors, our best wishes to you and to your families on this wonderful milestone. A very important group among us had the great honor, the education of these fine men and women. I'd like to introduce Brad Roth, a member of the Academic Senate, professor of law in the law school, and professor of political science in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Professor Roth. Thank you, Provost Clavo. On behalf of the faculty of Wayne State University, I would like to offer each of you my warmest congratulations. This is a day of joy for all here, students, parents, and faculty. Of course, for those of you who think that academics are over with, I can say, speaking from my own personal experience, that you may find that there is yet another degree that you just have to have. Rest assured, we will welcome you back with open arms. I hope that all of you can think back fondly on the journey that brought you here today. And I also hope that you realize the role that the Wayne State faculty had in getting you to this important milestone in your life. As a comprehensive research university, Wayne State has well over 1,000 faculty who not only convey received knowledge, but generate new knowledge. They conduct path-breaking research in their fields, establishing national and international reputations for themselves, for their departments, and for Wayne State University. They have acted as your teachers, advisors, and mentors. You've had the opportunity to work with and learn from top-flight scholars from whom teaching is a passion, faculty devoted to helping you navigate what promises to be a complicated future. Although it's likely that the knowledge that you gain here will enable you to get a good job and earn a better income, this is a byproduct, not the main product, of your education. In addition to providing our students with knowledge, education must enable our students to think critically, to distinguish sound ideas from half-baked notions, news from propaganda, genuinely arguable propositions from sheer demagoguery. Education must empower students to grapple with divisive questions that beset our society with an insistence on justice for all, and also in a spirit of mutual respect and inclusion. I hope you will agree with me that our faculty have not only provided you with practical knowledge, but also taught you how to think analytically and evaluate critically the world around you. Rest assured that what you have learned here at Wayne State has prepared you to continue your education out in the wider world. I hope that we as faculty members have taught you that learning is a lifelong pursuit, Life is going to demand that you do a great many difficult things, and I'm confident that the preparation you received here will serve you well. Let me close by telling you that the faculty and administration are very proud of our graduates, and we look forward to hearing from you as you move forward. What you accomplish, what you will become, will be a source of vicarious pleasure for those of us who were your teachers and mentors. You have graduated from a very special university, one that defi defines excellence in terms of who we include, not whom we exclude a university that respects its students enough to demand much of them, but that also shows its students understanding and friendship. Today, we share your pride and your hope for the future. Congratulations again on your success today. I hope you all continue to learn. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Professor Roth. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State's 12th president, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations. If we were in the Fox Theater or out on Fort Field right now, as we all would have preferred, you would have seen the room crowded with all the people who are so happy to celebrate your achievement. Parents, siblings, spouses, children, professors, and advisors. We're already making plans to give you the in-person celebration with your families and loved ones and your professors you richly deserve in April 2022. But until we can offer you that in-person experience, you will have to imagine those crowds smiling and cheering for you now. We are so very proud of you, and it is my honor and privilege to share this moment with you. 
The class of 2021 holds a special place in Wayne State's history. You've weathered unprecedented challenges over the past year or more because of this pandemic that has altered life as we know it. More than perhaps any other graduating class in 153 year history, you have proven your mettle as warriors. Unstoppable, adaptable, courageous and kind, strong. You understand better than perhaps any generation in a very long time, how the unpredictable can suddenly rear up and change our lives. Many of you grew up in a post 9-11 world. You survived multiple recessions. You have reckoned with the deadly virus that swept the globe and claimed the millions of lives. You have borne witness to a national reckoning with the systemic racism that still plagues this country. The class of 2021 has endured all this trauma, but you didn't just endure. Many of you have thrived, finding an inner calling to become social justice activists or healthcare heroes, or simply more thoughtful, better informed neighbors and citizens in your communities. The world is unpredictable. Life is unpredictable. This will never change. You, however, have changed. You are better equipped to face that world and thrive and make it a better place because of your time here at Wayne State University. You've learned from the finest faculty who have stretched your intellects and pushed you further than you've ever been pushed before. You've worked incredibly hard to the point of exhaustion. And by living and learning in the heart of Detroit, you have learned what it means to be a compassionate and engaged member of your community. Industry, intelligence, integrity. These are the words engraved in the Wayne State University seal and these are the gifts you carry with you as you enter the next chapter of your lives. We are seeing a light on the horizon as vaccines roll out around the world and infection rates decline. And it's possible to see that now, in the aftermath of one of humanity's gravest disasters, incredible opportunities will present themselves to you. Opportunities for jobs or further education Opportunities to improve your corner of the world, no matter how big or small. Opportunities to be kind and just. And because of your time at Wayne State, you're ready to take advantage of them. Louis Pasteur once observed, chance favors the prepared mind. Each of you is prepared for whatever life may bring. And for this reason, I am confident for your shared future. Congratulations once again, class of 2021. I could not be prouder of you, and I wish you nothing but the very best of life. Thank you, President Wilson. Now we begin the traditional part of the ceremony, the formal acknowledgement of the candidates for degrees and the conferring of those degrees. I would like to ask Provost Clabo to join us to present the candidates. Mr. President, over 3,700 students were eligible and applied to graduate from our 13 schools and colleges. These candidates will now be acknowledged for their degrees by the Dean. From the College of Nursing, the doctoral, master, and bachelor degree candidates will be presented by Dean Ramona Bankert. Dean Bankert. Mr. President, Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Nursing, I have the honor to acknowledge the candidates for the degrees as listed in the commencement program book. Ladies and gentlemen, now the most solemn moment of commencement as the president confers the degrees. Mr. President. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the president by the board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, 
I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Thank you, President Wilson. For all those who are with us today, please join me in congratulating all of the graduates for their efforts and accomplishments. Back to you, Dean Strauss. Thank you, Provost Claybo. I would like to now welcome Dean Benkert back to address the graduates from the School of Nursing. Dear graduates, your families, friends, faculty, and colleagues, it is indeed my pleasure as Dean of the College of Nursing to welcome you to our virtual ceremony. Ordinarily, this ceremony is held in person and represents an opportunity for the faculty and staff of the College of Nursing to welcome those of you who are BSN graduates as members of our profession and to celebrate the special professional accomplishments of our graduate students. In these unusual times, while we are not able to be physically present with you, we want to recognize and celebrate all that you have accomplished to reach this day. Whether you are completing your bachelor's or master's degree, or if you are receiving your doctor of nursing practice or your PhD, you are joining or advancing your career in this most critical of professions. You've worked so hard and challenged yourselves and each other to get to this point and the journey is only now beginning. I am confident that exceptionally talented faculty of the college have prepared you to practice regardless of your degree level or prior preparation in a manner that will bring honor to our profession and greater health to those whom you will serve. This year, we will celebrate the 75th plus one anniversary of the founding of the College of Nursing at Wayne State. As graduates of this college, you become part of a tradition that has existed since 1945. For just over 75 years, the College of Nursing has produced some of the nation's most exceptional clinicians, leaders, scientists, and scholars. We accept no less of you. You also graduate in the year 2021, which has been designated by the World Health Organization as the year of the health and care workers, thereby recognizing the dedication and sacrifice of the millions of health and care workers at the forefront of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the last year, the world, and especially the community around us, has seen the true impact of nurses. We are members of a very privileged profession. For those of you who are practicing nurses, thank you for everything you have done this year during this unprecedented time. Patients and families have relied on your expertise and skill. Thank you. At whatever degree level we practice, in any role we assume, we are in the service of others, whether we practice our profession at the bedside, in the community, in the classroom, in a research lab, our ultimate goal is to contribute to the health of the whole human beings. We do not care for disease. We care for people in the full context of their lives, and we are among the privileged few who have the opportunity to do so. So as you receive your degree today as graduates of this college, you will be one of us. You will always have a professional home in the College of Nursing. We are exceedingly proud of each and every one of you. We typically open the presentation of the graduates with a traditional hooding ceremony for our PhD and DNP graduates. The hooding ceremony is a long standing tradition for doctoral graduates. Academic hoods, which add so much beauty and color to the academic ceremony, are the visual representation of the scholastic degree. Steeped in the tradition, Hoods are lined with the official color or colors of the university conferring the degree. The edging of the hood is to be in velvet or velveteen in the color of the conferred degree. Doctoral graduates are usually hooded by their chair or a member of their doctoral committee. While all of us who are chairs solely miss the opportunity to hood our graduates, I ask that you have someone who is important to you who has supported you during this journey to hood you. 
One of the things I most look forward to at this ceremony is the opportunity to present each of our baccalaureate and master's graduates with a College of Nursing pin. The pin, which we hope you will wear in your practice, identifies you as a graduate of the Wayne State College of Nursing, as one of us, as graduates of one of the most highly ranked programs in the country. Because we couldn't do this in person, you have received your College of Nursing pin in the mail. The first time you wear it, I ask that you ask someone who has supported you during this journey to pin you. And so today, it is my pleasure and privilege to recognize each of you as a key contributor to the future of nursing and health. We are delighted to count you among our colleagues. A noted historian, Doris Kearns Goodwin, when speaking about leadership in turbulent times stated, more and more it seems to me that about the best thing in life to have is a piece of work worth doing and then do it well. As nurses, we have the privilege of having important work to do. I know that you will do it well, may it bring you the joy and satisfaction you deserve. Congratulations. Now, I would like to introduce the invited student speaker for our May 2021 commencement and convocation. Dr. Emily Dove Meadows is graduating today from the PhD in nursing program. She is a two-time recipient of the Graduate Professional Scholarship from Wayne State University and was supported by a graduate research assistantship during her PhD program. She has worked as a home health nurse with the infant mental health program in neighborhoods all over the city of Detroit. As a midwife, she has worked with people across the lifespan in a gynecology practice, multidisciplinary pelvic floor center, and in full scope midwifery practice. Her dissertation, Property, Power, and Preterm Birth, was a mixed method study that explored racial residential segregation in preterm birth among pregnant black women and was inspired by her clinical practice. She graduated from Wayne State University in 2011 with a master's degree in nursing with a specialty in nurse midwifery. Emily earned a BA from the Galatin School of Individualized Study at New York University and a second bachelor's degree in nursing from New York University in 2009. Dr. Dove Meadows graduates today with several peer-reviewed publications and she will be starting postdoctoral study at the University of Michigan. Thank you, Dr. Dove Meadows. Thank you, Dean Benkert. Good morning, nursing graduates. It's such an honor for me to represent you on this important day in your nursing career. First, I want to thank Wayne State and the College of Nursing faculty and staff. We would not be graduating today without your wisdom, your support, and your commitment to the future of nursing. This past fall semester, I had the honor of teaching an OB clinical group in the BSN program. Every day, that group of eight women showed me how strong, how smart, how poised, and how capable our Wayne State future nursing leaders are. These leaders gave me so much hope for what is possible in nursing, and I will forever be grateful to them for that. As we prepare to leave the College of Nursing, we will take with us a superpower that has been growing inside of each one of us since the first day of nursing school. A long time ago, when I was in my BSN program, one of my professors told our class that once we understood this power, we would never be able to let it go. It would be with us everywhere, on and off the unit or work site. That superpower is our ability to see as only nurses can see. For the longest time, I thought my professor was talking about seeing someone on the street and noting their slight impaired mobility, or standing in line behind someone at the supermarket with excess fluid volume. But this superpower is so much more than that. It allows us to see all kinds of things that other people simply cannot. In those quiet moments of our work as nurses, we see happiness, darkness, injustice, and inequity. And now that we see these things as nurses, we won't be able to unsee them. Today, as graduates, we get to use this superpower. We have the ability to see the unseeable, to gather information, to process, to analyze, to respond, and to disseminate. Your superpower, when you choose to use it, will not only help people, but it will change your city, your country, 
and the world. As Wayne State College of Nursing graduates, we are uniquely positioned and qualified to take on this responsibility. During the pandemic, we have seen things that we never hoped to see right here in our beloved city of Detroit. We saw the injustice as people in parts of our city bore the brunt of the pandemic while others were spared. We saw suffering and pain at our workplace that we have all vowed to never unsee and to never repeat. Our Wayne State education has showed us that the, our power of seeing can propel us to act. But there is one more thing I want you to use your, your, your superpower to see. For just a moment, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to take yourself back to your most challenging moment in your nursing education. You may be on a med surge unit having just been told that you could have done something better or on, lab or on labor and delivery where you couldn't find the words to say what you wanted or you may be staring at your empty computer screen as you try to write your fourth paper of the week. Go to that place and ask yourself, what did I need most in this moment but didn't get? Nurses, open your eyes and use your superpower now. For other nurses who come after you, be what you needed in that moment for yourself. Give to them what you needed. Give what you have wanted to every nurse who works beside you for your patients, their families, your colleagues, and most of all, your future students. Be what you most desired in those dark and challenging moments but didn't get. To be seen, to be heard, to be understood, and to be loved. If we use our power to be compassionate, to fight for equity and for justice for each other and for those we serve, there is no limit to what we can heal, what we can accomplish, or what we can be as a profession. Congratulations, nurses. I'm so proud to be among you today. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. And now I would like to introduce Peter Caborn, Associate Vice President for Alumni Relations and Advancement Services and Executive Director of the WSU Alumni Association to welcome the university's newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Caborn. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but you leave as so much more. You are powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. When the world drastically changed last year, you pivoted and stayed focused to finish. It was no easy feat, and that's what makes reaching this point of your academic journey even more significant. As you move your tassel from student to a graduate of the class of 2021, you also move into the Wayne State alumni community, and we are honored to have you. You now join more than 283,000 people who have also succeeded and continue to succeed. There are Wayne State alumni in every part of Detroit, in every corner of Michigan, across our country, and all around the world. No matter where your journey takes you, you will find a Wayne State connection. We also hope you'll stay connected with us. We offer many programs and opportunities for our alumni, including ways to give back. Perhaps you're interested in mentoring students who are following in your footsteps or connecting with alumni in your career field. The Alumni Association offers this and much more. And we wanna know where life takes you. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. Keep in touch with us via our website at alumni.wayne.edu. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We cannot wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Mr. Caborn. Thank you, parents, families, friends, and most of all, graduates, for joining us in this celebration. Once again, congratulations, class of 2021.